And I'm Stephen. So we are going straight into it. We have a relationship do's and don't tag. So this is how it's done. As you can see, he has two papers. One says do, one says don't. So our lovely producer is going to ask us a few questions. So if he feels he leans closer to the word do, he'll pick do. If it's don't, don't. Likewise, I'll follow suit. So if you haven't already, kindly subscribe, like, share. So let's get right into it. Question number one. Do you like or comment on an opposite sex social media platform? Oh, thank you, producer. So just a disclaimer. So we are not in a relationship. <laughs> so yes, first question. I'll read that again. Do you like or comment on an opposite sex social media platform? I can have two answers, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. So that's do and don't. That's do and don't. So I say do. So why so do you say do it and don't? Depends, it depends on who the opposite sex is. Okay, so if it's a. Kind of elaborate further. I think there are certain people that. Uh, should, I, should I say people? Yeah. Or situations? Yeah, so situ okay. it depends more on the of situation. situation. Like, okay. yeah, yeah, so it's more of a situation issue. Depends what you're commenting on and what it's about. Yes. And I think don't would apply. Mm -hmm. But then if it's nothing to it, yeah, there's nothing wrong. Yes, I agree. So let's say hypothetically speaking, I'm in a relationship and then I see a guy um, who Your posts... A cousin. Mm -hmm. A cousin or just a random person who I may not know. He's posting mm -hmm. a picture with the Bible saying Jesus wept. Really? Like, I would definitely like that. There's nothing wrong with that. So I think it depends on... The context really mm -hmm. is it just an innocent picture definitely i will go and like that and comment awesome question number two do you speak out to your significant other on the things that bother you about them ladies first so do we speak out does one speak out on the things that bother you? them about the other i i say yes so do i say yes but <laughs> it depends again let's say if it's something that will cause like a heated argument mm -hmm. then i would rather keep quiet mm -hmm. until things cool down and then have the discussion but then if it's something that can you know we can sort it out like two grown-ups then no problem I'll, okay. I'll say i'll say what's bothering me so my take mm -hmm. is it's always important to air out your views Obviously, it depends on the time and the setting, mm -hmm. which is pretty much, I think, what you are trying to say. So, um, if, for instance, you are at a very crowded place and there's people, definitely wait for the perfect time to air out your view. I don't believe in bottling things up. I will not keep things in my body, in my mind, in my spirit, in my soul that not drain me. COVID. Not even COVID. <laughs> so, I think it depends on your maturity level and how you deliver what exactly you'd like to say. Awesome. Do you vent to your friend about your significant other? Huh. Let him go should first. Should I be honest or should I take a... Be honest. Okay, I'll be honest. Okay. But the problem is if you say do, it's like you gossip. If you say don't, it's a lie. Mm -hmm. So it both. depends. Yeah, I'll say both. There's certain things obviously that I feel should be kept between the two of you mm -hmm. but then there's certain things that you might need counsel from a friend okay, so you don't have a counselor relationship counselor why would you have well, to tell your friend and i'll say i'll say do don't okay. it depends i think it depends you okay so i'll just say don't next question nah we need a reason <laughs> next no question reason. no reason okay mr produce Question four. Do you give passwords to your significant other? These passwords could be your phone password. I'm guessing ATM. No, ATM password, definitely. Computer password. ATM password, yes, that's and a wire. do. Because you never know. So let's say your significant other. Um, wife? Yeah, so wife. wife. No, oh, in a relationship. So. So let's say your significant other does not have money. I mean, and then they have your card. So you can definitely say, hey, you can use my card and 
get yourself some hand sanitizer. You know, there is COVID and COVID is very dangerous. So you have to keep yourself safe. But back to the phone password, though. So, <laughs> what's your take? Do, definitely. That says don't. Yeah, do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll... Do, don't... I won't stop you mm -hmm. from asking for a password. But it's not like I'm going to work. Oh, oh, here's my password. Mm -hmm. But then if you want it, I would say no. Okay, so I'm, I'm a believer of transparency. Mm -hmm. It's always important to just, like, don't leave any room for question marks. It's just a password. Give it to the person and life goes on. If they ask on. for it. I don't, I don't even feel they need to ask for it. It should be... Oh, here's my password. Like, just, like he should just know my password and I mm -hmm. should know his password. Yeah. He at the end, no, 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 no. Like my end and your end, mm -hmm. they're both the same. Mm -hmm. The other gets the password. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. So but we both agree. It's just a thing of like on my end. Mm -hmm. If you don't ask for it, we haven't asked for it. If you want it, I'll give it to you. Or if I ask you, get this from me. Ladies, are you hearing that? Guys are very, very sneaky. No. So if you don't ask for my password, I won't give it to it. No. So are yeah. you comfortable with giving her your password? Yes, yeah, I'm no? comfortable. With giving. With giving. Yeah. So, but she has to ask for it. Yeah. Like, if I don't ask for your password, you won't give it to me. So it's a, it's a thing of. No I... comment. Question five: Are breaks a do or don't in a relationship? So are breaks a do or don't in a relationship? Mm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. So I think I would say do. And don't. Why are you breaking? You can break from. What can't you solve in the relationship that you can that you will be able to solve? In the okay, so okay, I'll say do. Okay. I'll I'll say do because. I change your mind. No, I think it can either be do or don't, but I'm going to go with do. So here's the situation. So you've been dating someone for thirty something years. So I oh. met you when I was in primary school, for instance. <laughs> And then now we are all grown up and we are working. Mm -hmm. So you cannot tell me I am the same person I was when I was 12 years. And now mm -hmm. breaks are, are important to give yourself time to just grow, develop, and try, to see, try and see what works for you. So I think that's how I see it. So can that be applied to a marriage? Or no? No, we're talking about um, relationship in the Free. context of not marriage, just... Um, yeah, dating, getting to know the other person. I... So it's a do in the context of you've been in a long term relationship. So you need time to grow, develop, find yourself. So his is don't. Mine is don't. Because I feel there's nothing that you can solve in that break. Like, there's nothing you can solve in that break. Like, what are you going to solve that you can't solve within the relationship? So if it can't be solved when you're together, right? Question six. Is it okay to put an opposite sex? Woman crush Wednesday or man crush Monday besides your significant other? My mother. <laughs> <laughs> so only your mother? My mother, my sister. That's all? I say, okay. <laughs> It depends really so let's say as a guy if you put if you put Maya Angelou for instance we all know she was wise yes so it, it pretty it pretty much depends I guys don't be rigid so I guess it goes but, back to who you're dating anyway know your spouse know, yeah, know your, your spouse your but in general mother. I think the only time you post I ah, know so it's uh, so don't that's so your don't, mom, huh? yeah mom sister okay so that's, ladies that's you heard that so just He's keeping that space only for his mom, dad, and, and wife, siblings. And <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Question number seven. Is it okay to constantly post your significant other on social media? Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Is it okay to constantly post your significant other on social media platforms? Also, like, constantly. Okay. So, okay, so I, I, I would say don't, because as you said, it leaves so much room for people to have an opinion mm -hmm. about your life, about what they think you should be or you should do. Public property. Mm -hmm. 
So for me, but doesn't mean you can't post. You can post. Mm -hmm. But I think unnecessarily posting every mm -hmm. second five pictures a day. So then what would be the range? Would you have like, once so let's year. say once a <laughs> <I'm> year. joking. <laughs> no, there's, okay. there's no range. But I think um, when something that happens that you don't mind sharing with everyone or making public, like let's say your partner got uh, an award or was, oh, yeah. this happened or she achieved this or I like to you know, appreciate this person mm -hmm. publicly. But every single second. But look, you can if you want. That it's I think it's more of a preference of how yeah. private do you want your life to be. Yeah, yeah and to I agree. Yeah. I mean leave certain things private. I mean we know you love your significant other. That's just my opinion. Posting them every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is slightly agitating. Not that people are bitter and single, no. We want to see other information on our news feeds. Thank you. So there you have it, guys. That was a relationship do's and don'ts segment. Did you have fun? Too much. So um, his name is Stephen Mwale, as I mentioned earlier. I'll the give his. Guru. Oh, so he's a love guru. I didn't know until now. So he's a creative. He does so many interesting things. So guys, kindly check out his Instagram page, his website, and most importantly, like, subscribe, and share. Stay safe. Stay safe.